We talk about pulse gradient spin, e spin echo diffusion NMR, PGSE, or PFG NMR. This is uh, used for the same by different people. Some fight about the words, but it doesn't matter. We use both of them for the same meaning. And I want to start with some basics. Then we have these model applications, polymer diffusion in solutions, where we look at polymer weight distributions. And the second one is multinuclear diffusion experiments, where we have an example of ionic diffusion in ionic li liquids. At the end, I want to come a little bit to instrumentation, very short, and describe the workflow, how such a measurement will go on. And <clears throat> so I mentioned already the, the other name, PFG diffusion. And as Dieter said, uh, PGSZ NMR is a method to investigate equilibrium diffusion. Non-equilibrium diffusion we can also investigate by NMR, usually by imaging technologies. But this is not part of the talk today. Here on the right side you see a picture which is, should be actually a movie I have stolen from and we have the movie now here separated and you see what we're talking about. We're talking about Brownian motion and we want to measure the diffusivity in such an environment, either of the blue or the red components. <clears throat> in general, in PGSE diffusion and MR, we observe objects they con which consist of atoms or molecules or clusters of them, or maybe other things. All of them can be identified by a certain nucleus at a certain chemical shift. And so here we have, for example, isooctane, where we have many protons. All the protons are tightly bound to the molecule, and the, the diffusion of each of them will be the same as the diffusion of the molecule. If we look at other things here, water, in reality, we have to consider water as a consisting of H2O and uh, the two components OH- and H3O+. And they are in some equilibrium, but they have different diffusion coefficients. But because they are in very fast exchange, we measure only an average diffusion coefficient in this case. So that it looks the same as this. But there could be other cases, or if we change the temperature or pH, things might change. To start, I want to introduce a general relation, the Stokes-Einstein relation, which tells us how the diffusion coefficient is related to the absolute temperature, so it is proportional to the absolute temperature, and inversely proportional to the viscosity of the solvent we're looking at, and to the hydrodynamic radius. Assuming we have spherical molecules, at least, we can write it as simple as that, and then we also know how the, the mass is uh, related to the hydrodynamic rate, radius. Mm -hmm.